Of course, lots of, uh, you know, platitudes, if you will. What do we know about the details on what's being planned? Well, you were right at the top of the show when you said that we are listening to Xi Jinping's speeches and what he is telegraphing a lot closer these days because just about everything that has transpired on the regulatory front over the last 10 months or so, he kind of forecasted or hinted to in speeches. So we have to look at this speech that he gave last night and, and kind of read between the lines and see what he's saying. The, the speech was long on thematics and short on specifics. That is very common with Chinese leaders and their speeches. But what stood out really were some of these pledges to gradually further open up services sector, financial and potentially health care to foreign investment, and also drive programs that lead to free trade uh, zones and the like. But the one that really stood out was this new uh, board uh, that they're going to launch in Beijing uh, that will um, essentially, uh, what Xi Jinping say, drive innovation, particularly in services. Let's hear from the president. We will continue to support the innovation-driven development of small and medium-sized enterprises by deepening the reform of the new third board and setting up the Beijing Stock Exchange as the primary platform for innovation-oriented SMEs in services trade. So some would ask, well, don't they already have the star market in Shanghai? Well, that is potentially, well, it is focused primarily on technology companies, medium-sized enterprises. This board, as we just heard from Xi Jinping, could be more focused on innovation in services. We have to see because there were a few details uh, in that speech. But when Xi Jinping speaks, all the others in the various departments get moving and start acting on it. So we'll likely see details coming forward. The CSRC was already out. That's the securities regulator, already out with a statement right on the heels of that speech saying the new exchange is an important measure to implement our national innovation-driven development strategy and continue cultivating new drivers of development. Now, how will this market shape up? Well, very likely it's going to be a revamp and a reform of the existing Beijing bourse called the NEEQ, which was set up in 2013. Uh, but it had very little liquidity and very little volume. Uh, it had lower uh, listing requirements than Shanghai and Shenzhen, but really didn't take off. So what we're likely to see uh, is a reform of that market it's called the new third board, by the way, for mm. the last eight years. But no one knew about it, really, uh, outside of the tight investment community. But they're going to reform that and select companies that are already listed there will move to this new unnamed Beijing bourse. So, Steve, everybody knows about Alibaba becoming the latest big platform company to pledge to support Xi's common prosperity drive. Can we expect all the others who have come under the thumb of this crackdown, whatever you want to call it, to step up and do the same? Oh, they're all doing it. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we've already heard from Pindoldo. We've heard from Tencent. Tencent recently doubled its pledge to $15 billion. And guess what? What did Alibaba yesterday pledge? Roughly $15 billion, 100 billion yuan. Uh, over the next five years, they're going to donate. Is that the right word to use? For lack of a better one, that's the word I'm going to say, uh, into various 10 different areas that will satisfy the government and Xi Jinping's uh, vision of common prosperity. Uh, so poverty alleviation, education, uh, agriculture, and the like. Uh, she, uh, Alibaba already in a more recent earnings report said it would donate again, I use that word loosely, uh, many of its incremental profits, all of its incremental profits in the near term uh, to these various projects.